and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. Ha! Ha! What's the job, Bob? Mr Bentley's got a special job for us in the countryside. Who do you need to help, Bob? Well, right now, you, Rolly and Dizzy. I'll need Muck and Lofty to bring the building materials later. OK, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Hello, Bob. You're nice and early, as per usual. Um, I like your hat, Mr Bentley. Thank you very much, Dizzy. Where are we, Mr Bentley? This is a nature reserve. Bob and I are members of the Bird Watching Club, and all this land belongs to them. Mr Bentley wants us to build a hide. It's a small hut where we can sit when we want to watch different kinds of birds. And there's a bird you don't see very often, called the Lesser Spotted Grebe Warbler. It's due to pass by here on its way south. Why is it flying south? Some birds migrate. That means when the weather gets cold, they fly off to a warmer part of the world. Now, I don't want you to think of me as a building inspector today. I, uh, I'll just go and keep an eye out for the warbler. Come on, you three. We've got to get this ground cleared before we can build anything. <laughs> Mr Bentley? Mr Bentley! Oh, oh, sorry, Spud. I, uh, I didn't notice you there. I've never seen that hat before. Well, I only wear it when I'm out bird-watching. Bird-watching? Cool! Shall I scare them, Mr Bentley, and then you can watch them fly away? No, no, Spud. This is a nature reserve. You mustn't scare any birds here. But I'm a scarecrow. That's my job. No, Spot. If you want to come into the nature reserve, you have to promise not to scare any birds at all. Oh, yes, Mr. Bentley. In you come, then. Well, if I can't scare birds, what can I scare? Dizzy, what does that, um, a lesser spotted green, um, you know, thingy look like? I think it looks like a... A giant pink ostrich. <laughs> yeah. Or, or maybe it's more like an enormous parrot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it must be really big and scary looking. <laughs> Why is that? Well, Bob's building a hide. It must be pretty scary if Bob's got to hide from it. Perhaps it's got really big claws and a giant pointy beak. Um, I think I'll see how Bob's doing. Um, wait for me. <laughs> now I know who I can scare, and I know just how to do it. <laughs> Good work, team. Now the foundations are laid, you can go back to the yard. OK, Bob! Bye, Bob! Hello, Bob's building yard. Oh, Pilchard! <laughs> Is the filing nearly finished, Wendy? Well, it would be if Pilchard wasn't trying to help. Do you want Muck and Lofty to come over now? That'd be great, Wendy. OK, Bob. I'll just get them. Hi! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Look, we've brought the bits you need to make that hide. Oh, no. There's a hole in the wall. That's so we can see the birds when we're in the hide. Oh, uh, I thought that's what it was. But you are so clever. <laughs> if you can't scare birds, you can still scare the machines. And what are the machines most scared of? The lesser spotted spud warbler. Caw, caw. What was that? Maybe it's the real green warbler. Don't worry, spud. There's no bird that you can't scare. Ah! 
Hello, Spud. What's the matter? Stepped in some nettles, have you? Oh, never mind. I saw some dock leaves around here somewhere. I was just, uh, practising my bird calls. Well, it's good to see you taking an interest. Hey, Bob! Can't we paint the hide a really bright colour? But blue! You can't have a blue hide. No one's meant to notice it. That's right, Scoop. That's why it's brown and green, so it blends in with all these plants. Oh, I get it. That way, the birds won't see you when you're watching them. Yes, Mock. It's called camouflage. Is that why Mr Bentley's got all those twigs on his hat? <laughs> exactly, Scoop. That's another kind of camouflage. Bob! Bob! I've spotted the lesser spotted green warbler. Quick! Inside the hide, Mr Bentley. Oh, yes. Oh, oh hey! The big scary green warbler is coming! Oh, what are we going to do? I know. Let's camouflage ourselves. Aha! Uh -huh. A pine cone. This will really scare those machines. Caw! Chirp! Caw! <laughs> it's tickles. Shh! Can you hear something? Oh, no! It's the green warbler! Caw! Caw! No, it's not. It's Bud. <laughs> Look at his nose. What? What's that noise? <laughs> oh, where, where are those voices coming from? Poor Spud. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Oh, help! <laughs> At last, I've got away from those scary voices. <gasps> oh, oh, it's only a little bird. Go on, shoo! Oh, shoo, will you? Oh, I give up. I can't even scare a little bird. I'm going home. Oh, do you want to come too? I'm sure this is the right way, little warbler. I say, what's that? Oh, it's just Spud again. Oh, uh, where am I? I don't believe it. Spud's found the letter spotted Grebe Warbler. It's those scary voices again. Help! He's going to scare the Warbler away. Oh dear, oh dear. Don't worry, Spud. It's only us. Oh, Bob. Where did you come from? We've been inside the hide. And we were camouflaged, so you couldn't see us. You found a very rare bird, Spud. But why were we hiding from the warbler? It's not scary. We were in the hide, so we didn't scare the bird, Mock. Not the other way around. Oh, I see. I just want to get a couple of photos. Right. Let me adjust the focus and... Uh... <laughs> Oh, no. Spud, see if you can get him to come down. He thinks you're another bird. All right, but don't blame me if I scare him away. I'm a scarecrow, remember? Caw! 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 Oh, my word. How be beautiful. Uh, are you going to do another song? I think it's time for him to go, Spud. Oh, bye-bye. I'm really going to miss him. He'll be back next year, Spud. Spud, you've gone from a bird scarer to a champion bird watcher in one day. I think you deserve these. Oh, thanks, Mr Bentley. They're smashing. Well, back to the farm. Bob, should we tell Spud to take off his bird costume? Oh, I'm sure he'll remember, Scoop. Eventually. Ah! Oh. Oh. 